actually see it. I don't know if it's really dark for you. Um, but I can see it just barely, but I can see it. Anything? Nope, nothing there. Ooh, just here. Probably more books and paper. Indeed. However, it's worth checking. I don't believe this is the last wing. That's a mess. Well, here goes my stone sword. Come on. Oh. Okay, took care of him. There's a lot of stuff still. This is a very large school. Library. What does this contain? Probably books. One of these times, maybe I'll get really lucky and I'll find an enchanting table. Uh, doesn't appear to be anything there. Oh! <sighs> Damn you, Vex. You just had to fill the entire map with quite possibly the most annoying mob in the entire game of Minecraft. Store and cantina. Coal? Coal, coal. Don't especially need the wood. Cook chicken, I will take it. Stone sword, uh, I'll just make my own. I won't worry about it. Don't need anything out of there. Oh, there's two more chests over here. Mm, my leather cap's looking okay, I guess. It's not impressive, but it could be worse. It's leather anyhow, it doesn't really offer too much protection. What is in here? It says 600. Is that supposed to be as opposed to 300? You know, I have a feeling that every single one of these rooms is going to, like the chests are going to contain books and paper, but my curiosity will not let me bypass every single one of these chests. So, what are you going to do? In other news, I think... Yeah, I turned my sensitivity down before because it was... It seemed too high, but since then I've actually decreased the uh, sensitivity on my mouse. Um, that was pretty much when I reinstalled Windows, which was today, as of this recording, anyhow. Ah. Okay, I hear you. Books and paper. Like I said, probably everything's going to be books and paper, but I must check it. For curiosity's sake. So unfortunately, curiosity gets the better of me. Just a random, random chest. This is why my curiosity says that I must check everywhere. But, uh, oh, another wool. Tell with you, follow the railway. It's a big enough indicator. Next thing I know, the entire railway explodes. Oh. Apparently, I am now behind. Just behind. Nothing in particular. Oh, shit! Water. Okay. 
I want in these fiery buildings. Fiery buildings? No. You know, I could probably trade the ladders off my bar for the cobble. I, however, do not want to trade the bow off my bar. This place sounds on fire. what I was expecting. How did this come about? What the? Gold? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Okay. Breathing room. I need it. Whew. This is not what I was expecting. Needed a little bit of breathing room there. I'm not sure what I'm going to do about this whole situation. I saw gold, but I can't do anything with the gold until I find iron. So, currently have myself in a very bad position. Well, I'm just going to have to try and make the most of the situation. If I'm going to run away, though, I'm going to need to be really quick about it. Because there is a lot of these dudes out here. Fire. Fire burns. Don't run away. Come back. Shit. Coal. Coal's good. If I'll ever be able to harvest it. Oh, shit. Whew. Okay. My brain says, get out. And that's not going to be quite as easy as I make it sound. There's another portal down there. Oh, but I am not ready to go in there. I definitely need to mark this place for further investigation. What the? Oh, um, I'm not entirely sure I sh was supposed to have found that already. Oh, there, I found it, legitimately. Problem solved. Hmm, it does not, however, solve the problem of all the mobs on the outside. Run, run, run. I think I'd been in pretty much all the buildings, Creeper. I am not done exploring overall. Really don't want to leave just yet. It's a lot of spiders. Oh. Come on now. Now, I do want to get these two wolves safe. However, that's going to be a lot of backtracking. Um, I 
think what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to set up a chest over here by the uh, the railway station. And after I do that, I'm going to throw these two chests, chests? These two wool in it. And yeah. Actually, whoa. Okay, that's me. Making me kind of paranoid. I'm now expecting spider spawns. Okay, I'm going to place one of these 9 million uh, crafting benches here. I'm going to make a chest. And what am I going to temporarily throw away? I don't know why I have leather pants on me, to be honest. This is here. This is blaze rods, because we can't really do anything with them at the moment. So we'll leave those there. Uh, I'll combine those stone swords. That'll free up a spot. Definitely going to add the wools. Clock is good. Keep the clock. I've got these jack-o'-lanterns and glowstone, however, I haven't actually made use of them, and I've been slowly increasing in coal. Combine those stacks. I don't especially need the string, but I don't want to necessarily get rid of it. And I'm going to need another stone pickaxe at some point, but that's not at the moment. I've got all these bones. I could make tons of bread, but... I want to keep this more interesting, and making a farm is not too interesting, which is why I haven't really done it. So, looks like it's getting daylight in the world of Minecraft. We're going to explore what's left of the buildings in this area, which, there was a sandstone building down the road, and I'm not sure if there's anything left over at the, uh, the school area, but I'm going to have to investigate that for sure. So, speaking of food, I need to eat some. Whatever. Burn. Burn. Thank you. I thought it was made out of sandstone when I first looked, but it might actually just be made out of wood. No, that definitely looks like sandstone. Let's see if, uh, hey chicken. Let's see, this doesn't appear to be marked. It might just be like a mini apartment complex. I'm not entirely sure what these are supposed to be. I don't know, I suppose if I read the book I would know, but... That was reading the book. Reading is hard. Not really, but reading is hard. More arrows is good, because those blazes are making me actually use them. No chest in here. No chest. There's a dispenser. You'd think I should be checking these. See, now i got to go over here, see if there's disp dispensers in here, and if they have anything. And I'm doing my hardest to not sneeze right now. Not that you care, but just a warning that there may be a sneeze in the near future. I kind of feel like by not checking all of these furnaces and stuff, I've probably missed things. But he does have a habit to mark the super amazing awesome things. Just so that way you can know that it's super amazing awesome and you can go lose it right away. Speaking of super amazing awesome things, I need things that are not leather armor. My leather cap is almost broken. I'm not happy about that. I like my leather cap. I don't want it to be broken. Uh, ooh, chest. Other fishing pole. More coal. Coal's good. I like coal. 
No, I'm not gonna turn into the space robot all of a sudden. Just coal. Is that a mushroom? That's definitely a mushroom. Now, I'm pretty sure I had seen some brown mushrooms before, but this one's a red mushroom. Another red mushroom. Now, I believe there are boundaries on this map. I'm not entirely sure what indicates them, so I'm just going to try and stick within the constraints of the... What the hell is going on here? Speaking of mushrooms. No, seriously, what's going on over here? Make use of this iron shovel he gave me. Shit. Hmm. skeleton. I'm going home. No spider you can't kill. But, uh, yeah. I think what I'm going to do is call this it for the night. Um, I'm not doing too much, maybe like an hour or so of recording each time. And I'm sure you've noticed I started to get a little bit tired. Um, I did want to play. Uh, I'm not just doing this just because. I actually wanted to play, I was, but I was tired before I began. I don't know if it's showing a bit, but uh, yeah. It's really starting to show now. Forcing oneself to stay awake tends to make one's eyes start burning. So... So far, this is kind of interesting. I do hope it gets a little bit harder. I am going to follow this path. You know what? I'm going to just take these back. Ooh. Ooh. And against my better judgment, I'm going to ride the railway. At least until it drops off into the middle of nowhere. But I want to save some time and I want to go get these wools put down. I'm probably not going to repair the railway anytime soon because, like I said before, he didn't really provide me with the materials to do such at the moment. But then again, I don't know how much he actually added whenever he made this hard edition. So, oh, yeah, and you're probably wondering what kind of tricky, ridiculous stuff I just pulled there. It is pretty much the same concept as a boat drop, only I didn't drop out of a boat, I dropped in a minecart, but same concept. You jump out, and when you jump out, that becomes your new jump position, landing fall, whatever you want to call it. And even the road has holes in it. You really did a number on the terrain around here, Vex. <sighs> Bit of a yawn there. Yeah. At least it wasn't a sneeze. <laughs> I wonder if me yawning made anyone else that's watching this video yawn. That would be mildly amusing, to be honest. But uh, I think I'm make a habit of ending my recording sessions with placing any wool I've obtained on the victory monument. Damn it! I put all my bones up! Damn it! Screw it, they're annoying anyhow. Nobody wants them. Now, I am i don't know if anybody's uh, even wondered this yet, but I have no plans to use 
F3 so long as I can avoid it. So I'm probably going to miss a lot of things, a lot of cool little places. I'm going to not know where I'm at. I'm probably going to get occasionally lost due to not knowing my coordinates. But I'm not too worried about that, to be honest. My sense of direction isn't quite as bad as I make it out to be. I really wish the uh, the Victory Monument and the uh, train station were closer together, but he, he, he did try and blow me up. Well, he did successfully blow me up there. But then he tried to blow me up two other times. I thought it was dying of fire. Shouldn't you be trying to be, drop me into lava or drop me on a burning nether rack or something? I mean, I realize you did sick about a thousand blazes on me, but come on now. TNT isn't fire. But, uh... Anyhow. That's just... I'm never gonna get used to that. Just a floating piece of bedrock. What are you gonna do? Oh. I did so much running that my food bar actually got kind of empty. Now, if it was actually safe around here, I may consider, like, off-camera making a wheat farm or something, but, uh, I haven't really made an effort to make it safe, so there is no such thing. But, uh, what do we got here? Orange wool and magenta wool. Okay, we got three out of, like, a billion. I forget what the exact number is. It's, like, 18 or 19 or something like that. Uh, but, uh, we have three. These ones are actually in the right position. They're not down there. So, hopefully my audio is properly, uh, synced up this time. But, uh, I will see you guys in the next recording session. So, uh, yep, this is Zinder signing off.